What is up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Monday with Bray. Today we are talking about possibly the greatest base overdrive in existence. Alright, so if you saw last week's video, we are talking today we are talking about the Visual Sound VSXO overdrive. It's a dual overdrive. It's actually not a bass overdrive at all. It is a guitar overdrive. So I'm pretty sure I picked this guy up brand new. It's been sitting on a shelf for a long time, I can tell. I think it was 150 bucks. I have the box. Check that out. Look at that. So I think it just sat there and never sold. This tag says $179, but whatever. So this guy has a few features that I find really helpful um, for bass. So if we use this as a bass overdrive, if we look at overdrive number one, we have a clean mix knob. We can choose between three different clipping modes. And then we have a bass switch that chooses between uh, three different bass levels. A is slight bass cut, B is slight bass boost, and then C is larger bass boost. And then when we go over to Overdrive 2, or the left side, um, we have a bass knob that goes from bass cut, which is the minimum setting, to a bass boost, which would be the max setting, or anything in between. So, this is based off of a Tube Screamer and a Noble style overdrive. Both have had their place in the bass board world. I think this drive just fits perfectly in a mix for bass, and um, with all those different um, ways to tweak our tone and stuff on there, I think it just excels at being a bass overdrive. Let's waste no more time, let's jump straight into it. I'm using the Epic Bass Board from a couple of videos ago with a, a couple changes. We have the JHS Bun Runner running into a Boss TU3, a Jam Pedals Dinosaur, then we go into the Bass Microsynth by EHX, the Visual Sound VSXO Overdrive, and then we're gonna hit the HX Stomp, which has a couple effects, and then our Amp Sims in there, and then we have the Generation Loss, Mark II, and then we're hitting the um, JHS color box, which is just a DI and slight EQ if we need it. And then I will be using my Glory Guitars Cornerstone Bass. You guys know what this sounds like. And if you haven't, then go check out some past videos because I use this a lot. All right, guys, what is up? Here we are. Here is the clean tone. Alright, so if we were taking a look at the VSXO, I used the um, right side or Overdrive 1 as kind of like the Blues Breaker, Morning Glory. Um, it's not the same circuit, but it's like the same vibe, like a low to medium gain kind of drive. There are my settings. And then the Drive 2 is more of a distortion almost, like a heavy heavier drive. So basically I have low to medium, heavy, and then a fuzz up there if I need that is basically how my gain structure works. You can also stack these guys in the VSXO. And if you want to, you can um, run one into the other. You can run drive two into drive one. Or you can run stuff in between those two. So there are a few different routing options. But 
let's go ahead and just get back into some sound samples. You can see me hitting the foot switches and stuff like that. <laughs> Right, guys let me know what you think about the visual sound vsxo i think it's owned by true Tone now honestly i don't even know if they make pedals anymore but i think this is a rad addition to the baseboard and i think it's a great bass overdrive if you want to hear it on guitar let me know down in the comments if you guys enjoy this video consider hitting the subscribe button and like this video and if you want to leave me a comment i usually respond decently quickly but I think that's about it. Make sure you check us out on Instagram. Link down in the description. We also have merch down there. And then I try to link every piece of gear that has been used or um, has been used in the past down there too. So I think that's about it. I've been Brayden. This has been the Visual Sound VSXO Dual Overdrive. Check it out on bass. And you just watched Monday with Bray. We will see you next week. Peace.